Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. I represent Storm Spirit players around the world, and inside the channel, you'll find guides on Storm, other heroes, middle lane mechanics, streams, and coaching sessions. Your support keeps the content flowing, and if you'd like to contribute, find out how down below. With all that said, let's go. Today, we're going to talk about unexpected damage. Imagine you're playing any hero versus Huskar middle. No matter what your skill level, you understand that if you come into his attack range, he will begin stacking his debuff on you, which hurts a lot. And because you know to expect to take extra damage, you come prepared with maybe an extra self or additional tangos. This is expected damage. You know your opponent's damage output and you know how to mitigate it. But what sometimes decides the outcome of a lane is unexpected damage. A good mid laner not only knows when and how to trade hits, but also does advanced mathematics to account for every possible scenario. Let's pause here. The Wind Ranger has lower damage than Storm, lower armor than Storm, and at this moment also less health than Storm. She also doesn't have a cell while I do. It is clear that if we trade hits now, I'll come out on top by either forcing her out on low health or even killing her. Sounds good, right? So in my head, I do a checklist. If I right click the Wind Ranger, she'll either eat the overloaded attack or use Wind Run to avoid it, and I can just fall back during that moment. In either scenario, her creeps are too far to deal any reasonable damage to me, and my creeps will soon be under her tower. And as long as my creeps are in the tower's attack range, I can step closer to perform the Vortex combo without drawing tower aggro. So, in theory, I'll take some hits from Wind Ranger's red clicks during Wind Run, probably eat a power shot, and maybe some mild creep damage as well. But my own potential damage output is high too, and I should be able to bring her low and self myself back up, potentially winning the lane in the process. Let's play it back. Did you see what happened? Right here I misjudged my attack range and forced myself into a few pixels within the tower's attack range, eating a tower hit. And here, by attacking Wind Ranger, I shift the creep positioning just a little bit as expected, but that little bit shifted in just the right way for me to become the next closest thing for the tower to attack, despite myself not being in the tower's aggro range. This causes me to eat two more tower hits. All this rounded up to about 210 damage I did not expect to receive, and instead of previously planned outcome, I die. In another example, a Morphling lanes against Storm. In this matchup, as Morphling, you'll want your base damage to be hard in Storms for an advantage in less hitting and denying, so you shift to extra agility to increase it. This leaves you with less health than usual, but it doesn't matter much, because if Storm brings you love enough, you'll just shift back more strength. As long as you don't get too close to get hit by Remnant, you should be fine. And even in the worst case scenario, you have Wand and Fairy Fire to help survive whatever burst damage Storm can bring. Again, sounds good, right? Let's play it back. Someone better help Dyer's middle tower! What happened is Storm suddenly reached level 3, thus increasing the threshold for expected damage. Instead of just dropping some overloaded attacks for 100 damage, Storm can now combo the Vortex for over 300 damage. This happened a bit too fast for Morphling to comprehend, and as a result, he dies. The moral of the story is that in both examples, the unexpected damage is not really unexpected. Miscalculations happen, surprise plot twists happen, and what differentiates a good player from a great player is the ability to expect a bit further past unexpected. Know that being near the enemy tower can maybe increase the damage you will take, and with that knowledge, you can better judge whether to engage or not. 
Know that an enemy leveling up can maybe be a new power spike for him and prepare accordingly. Then there's also other small things players often misjudge. An opponent with self will be much more aggressive in his trades. An opponent with creep advantage will also be more aggressive in his trades. A battle user will spam his spells more often if he has free access to runes. And if a passive player suddenly changes his laning style, it is possible that a gank is happening. So as long as you expect the unexpected and expect a bit more from the expected, you'll begin to see yourself avoiding some preventable deaths. I fight to the last breath. Glorious. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Good luck.